Widows. Ah, so I have some bad news too. Um, this weekend I was at a party and um, I, you know, I was walking back to the keg to get some more beer. And actually before that, I was kind of thinking about leaving because I was getting annoyed at there were some people who kept looking at me and laughing and like just staring and I was like what the hell is going on do they know or something or are they just like I don't know what they were laughing at but it was really obnoxious but so I went back to the keg and there were a bunch of guys out there and um a couple of them started talking crap to me they were like what are you doing here um is your mama picking you up god you look like you're a little kid what the hell what are you doing here are you old enough to be here are you old enough to drive oh. That got me pissed off. Um, you know, I got so friggin' mad because they just kept going on and on, and there are all these guys out there, and I was like, I'm not gonna be humiliated like that. Humili humiliated, I can't talk. <laughs> um, so I talked back to them, like, you know, who are you to judge me right now? Why are you talking to me like that? You don't know me. <laughs> you have no idea who I am. And so, you know, they kept giving me an attitude, so I pushed one of the guys back, and he had like a beer cup in his hand, so I think someone spilled on his shirt, whatever. I was so pissed off, so I just like dropped my cup and I walked out. And um, this party was right across from my apartment, so I was like, whatever, I'll just walk home. And um, I was walking down the stairs to get out of the apartment, like I walked outside and then down the stairs, um, and. Then I could hear these guys coming out, and I turned around, and it was those four guys, you know, these two Indian guys and two black guys, whatever, um, and they came out after me, like, talking shit again, and the biggest one, he's like six foot three, and this guy comes up to me, and he's in my face, and he's like, no one talks to my boys like that, who do you think you are, you can't do that shit, sorry for my language, um, you know, I was so pissed off. But at that point, I didn't want to get beaten up by these four guys. Like, really, I'm not for that. And, but I was so pissed off. And, like, I mean, I didn't want to start anything. But at the same time, I wasn't going to let them, you know, push me around like that. Because then they could do that to the next guy. Or girl, or whatever. So, you know, I don't even remember what I said. But I was just standing there. He was yelling at me. And I was like, you know, F you. <laughs> and, um... You know, they tried pushing me around and stuff, and it was pretty close to getting in a fight, but I was like, whatever, I just walked away. Um, they actually ended up getting me this bruise, I don't know if you could see it. It's like, that was about three or four days ago, so it's kind of, the swelling's going down and everything, but it's still red and purple. <laughs> so yeah, that wasn't fun. After that, I was like, maybe I shouldn't be going to parties anymore, you know? Or, I knew a bunch of people at that party, but... Maybe I should just go to parties with close friends, you know. Because I don't want to be in situations like that. I don't want to put myself in that kind of position. Um, I know it's going to happen again. You know, regardless of my gender identity or gender expression. You know, um, they were discriminating me not even because of that. It was because of my age. They thought I was young, and I'm not. I'm 20. I was the same age as them, probably, if not older. But, you know... Things like that happen, and I'm just going to have to try to avoid situations like that. I don't want to be put in danger like that all the time. So I'm going to try to find different stuff to do, you know. Start going to the clubs at JMU, my school, and uh, get involved in that stuff and find some other stuff to do on the weekends. Um, 